the Professional Karate Association, recognized worldwide as the leader in sport karate, in cooperation with Jim Abernathy Sports, is proud to announce the most dynamic confrontation in the history of professional karate. An event four years in the making. It's been written about, speculated on, negotiated, and fought over. Now, it's officially set. And it will go down in history as Thunder and Ice. Bob Thunder Thurman, the PKA's World Light Middleweight Champion, challenges the Iceman, Canadian Jean-Yves Terrio, for the PKA Middleweight Championship of the World. With this momentous event, the Professional Karate Association makes the historic leap into the company of the world's greatest athletic contest. This event is to fight fans everywhere. What the Muhammad Ali-Joe Frazier battle represented. Aya! The incredible balance. Aya! Aya! The blinding speed. Aya! Aya! The split-second timing. Aya! 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 And the explosive power of these two great champions say it all. This 2,000-year-old weaponless defense art, karate, has made the transition and is now truly a unique spectator sport. Some 11 years ago, the original PKA World Championship, presented to a packed house in the LA Sports Arena, featured the world's top point karate fighters as they mixed newly gloved and awkward punches with their martial arts kicks in a ropeless ring. It was a performance that some critics described as poor man's boxing with kicks. Nevertheless, as it aired on ABC's Wide World of Entertainment with Telly Savalas' as host, there was an intense awareness of just how thrilling this style of fighting would ultimately become. The telecast pulled a 20 rating and 32 share that December 26, 1974, opposite Burt Reynolds hosting The Tonight Show, a remarkable debut. Now, 11 years and a thousand successful hours on television later, along with the millions of hours of dedication by PKA athletes, Contact Karate has changed dramatically. The professional competition has negotiated its own unique identity and has grown into a compelling action-packed sport combining the grace of ballet with the one-on-one -on -one drama of boxing and the exhausting stamina of the marathon. It is hot. And it is quite literally ready to explode for the appropriate enterprising sponsors and perceptive broadcast partners. Here are but a few of the indicators that this spectacular event, Thunder and Ice, and the fully developed sport of PKA Karate are prime for your consideration. Grassroots. More than 10 million North Americans are enrolled in karate classes and spend an estimated $3 billion annually on karate-related activities and supplies. At the box office, The Karate Kid grossed more than $100 million in 1984, and the Chuck Norris movies continue to rank at the top of the list of box office hits on television. Since 1974, the PKA bounce broadcast on network television have averaged a 6.5 rating and 20 share, including NBC, CBS, and ABC coverage. PKA Karate is the longest running series on ESPN, and from the time the Nielsen started in 1982 through the third quarter of 1983, PKA Bounce in primetime attracted 78% more 18 to 49 year old fans than auto racing, 109% more than taped college football, and 46% more than NFL films. In terms of quality of audience, PKA Karate reached 87. 7% more 18 to 49s with household incomes exceeding $30,000 than did tennis. In print, Sports Illustrated, USA Today, Associated Press, UPI, The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, Nations Business, Delta Sky Magazine, Sales and Marketing Management, Advertising Age, and hundreds of daily newspapers across the continent have covered the PKA, its fighters, its audience, its ratings, and its safety record in great detail. In fact, the PKA is quite proud to have achieved one of the best safety records in athletics with no fatalities or serious injuries in its 11-year history. Not one. Think about it. This is a ground floor opportunity in one of television's fastest growing, most intriguing sports. All the elements are in place. The grassroots, the athletes, the audience, the media, the ratings. And now, through this unique promotion, your participation is a guaranteed success. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the principals.
The challenger is from Kansas City, Missouri. He's 24 years old, stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, and will weigh in at 170 pounds. The son of a Kansas City real estate developer, he is currently continuing his education with a major in business administration. Sports Illustrated referred to him as the leader of karate's new breed. In high school, he was the monster man as a defensive linebacker. He went on to ride Brahma Bulls in the rodeo, ran up an 86-1 record as he won four Golden Gloves titles. Then, he joined a karate school in Kansas City. After earning his black belt in 1980, he entered the contact karate arena, where he has accumulated 28 wins against one early loss and has scored 21 knockouts. His best techniques, the jump spinning back kick and left hook, are precisely the techniques to which Jean-Yves Terrio is most vulnerable. He has been in earnest pursuit of Mr. Terrio's world middleweight crown for nearly five years, and he currently reigns as the PKA light middleweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Thunder Thurman. I wouldn't say Terrio is exactly afraid of me. You know, Terrio is a good fighter. That's why I want to fight him. That fight will be nonstop from bell to bell until I knock him out. The big question in everybody's mind is Bob Thunder Thurman. He's come up here to Montreal. He's asking for Johnny Terrio. Do you think the fans here want to see you with him? What was that name again? Well, let me tell you this. Um, for the last couple of years, Bob Thurman's been telling whoever wants to listen to him that I've been ducking and avoiding him. Um, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm not avoiding him. I'm waiting for somebody to promote it so that I can get my share, so that Bob Thurman can get his shares. The fighter can get their share because uh, I think we're worth it. The middleweight champion is from Ottawa, Ontario. He is 30 years old, stands six feet tall, and will also weigh in at 170 pounds. Often mistaken for an attorney or an accountant, this man is extremely articulate and popular, both inside the ring and out. In a market research survey conducted in the province of Quebec, from the fourth quarter of 1982 to the second quarter of 1984. He ranked just behind Wayne Gretzky and Michael Jackson as the man most admired for his personal accomplishments. And he has five times been nominated as the French Canadian Athlete of the Year. His best weapons are an explosive roundhouse kick and a flashing right hand. The only techniques to have ever put Bob Thurman on the canvas. He has a contact karate record of 51 wins, three losses and one draw, with 47 wins by knockout. He is the PKA's undisputed middleweight champion of the world. He is the Iceman, Jean-Yves Terrio. Bob Thunder Thurman versus Jean-Yves Terrio for the PKA Middleweight Championship of the World. Now you can be part of this historic event, Thunder and 